Okay, so about a week ago, we did a video of the exterior of our vintage car junkyard uh, at Doloff Antiques here. So we're going to do an interior shot showing some of our personal stuff and things you guys might find interesting. We'll start with this. This is a 1950 Plymouth Suburban. This is the first all-steel station wagon made by uh, Mopar, Chrysler, Plymouth, you know. Before that, there are Woody's. Uh, this particular car was bought brand new by my grandfather in 1950. And my dad drove this to high school in the 60s. It's always been in the family. Uh, we've been putting another engine in this because he, after he drove it to high school, he took the engine out years ago. We've got it painted now. Uh, he's putting the engine in. So hopefully this will be running before too long. But there's a lot of history behind this car. And, uh, you know, we'll show you the rest of the stuff in here. Everything's kind of dusty because, you know, it's been a long winter here and things, uh, it's hard to catch up in the spring and summer, but we'll get them dusted here before too long. But just enjoy the view. Uh, this here, is an Oldsmobile engine that we have up on the hill there. Uh, I believe we have that one sold, so that engine will go back in it. That's going to Ohio. This engine here is a uh, Ford flathead that's been all built. It's got three-quarter cam, all kinds of good stuff, dual carbs. That's going to go in one of our hot rod projects. Uh, also, on our exterior video, if you want to watch that, you look at the icon up at the top right corner and uh, you can click on that and see the other video we're talking about. But we'll go through the rest of the building here. This here is a Lincoln Zephyr. Uh, I bought this out of a long time collection. This has got a, a V12. It's a V12 uh, flathead engine. So that's a pretty cool car. This was top of the line back in the day. Over here, we have a 1947 Dodge. This is a business coupe. It's a three window coupe with no back seat. Uh, this car, we've run this around a little bit. It's just, you know, dusty from sitting here. But it's a really nice original car. Original interior. It's got some seat covers on there, but this is all original. Hasn't been messed with. These are kind of distinctive with a short roof. Real long trunk, they call them fat fenders. Over here, we have a 1938 Cadillac. I believe that one's a model 65, I think, if I remember right. That's a V8, kind of a real gangster looking car. We got that down in Nebraska. Uh, the guy was a long time Cadillac collector. And you can look inside this one too. Opened up here. It's got the banjo steering wheel. Just a great car. This is back in Al Capone's day right here. And you got to check the front of this out. It's a big die cast grill. Look at the hood ornament. Just an impressive car. up on top there with the Cadillac. We got a, a cool library table. Look at the end of it here. It's, it's all oak carved. That's another future restoration project for us. Bought that about a half hour from here. This black one is a 1939 Ford Deluxe. It's a sedan, but it's a real survivor. Uh, all original. That one we haven't had running yet. It was in storage for about 50 years. So we found it. So we're going to work on that. Um, here's a mower. This is something you do not want to put your toes out here when this baby's going. Uh, back here we have this chassis is for a 1934 Ford coupe I have. I have a three window coupe. 
Uh, this chassis is all restored. We're going to put the body on there and get that running. Probably show that in some future videos. We've got a couple of Chevy engines back there and the bicycle that we had that we found the other day is in a video we had the other day. Now this is a 1947 Dodge half-ton panel truck. These were used for commercial duty mostly. Uh, grocers, uh, plumbers, you know, mostly commercial stuff. This truck was bought by my dad in 1975, the same year I was born, and he's had this since that time. This cost $150 in 1975, and he's since had it painted, and we found a uh, engine, a crate engine from World War II that was never run. And that engine has been in here for a long time and it runs beautifully. We drive this one a lot. Uh, here's a little Corvette go-kart one of my sons had to have when we were at a place picking. And here, I kind of got this stuff buried, but we got a, we collect signs too. We got a blast beer sign, nice porcelain. Uh, these are porcelain, fire chief. Got a big, Conoco sign there. That's all a porcelain sign. Oh, this is one of my favorites out here. It's a Nash sales and service. That would have been a dealer sign on a Nash uh, dealership. This big Skelly sign came right out of Murdo here. Uh, this was at the local truck stop. Anybody that passes through Murdo, South Dakota knows where the Triple H truck stop used to be. Now it's a pilot. But that was their Skelly sign back in the day. Uh, back here we have some more gas pumps. And a, uh, I got a lollipop sign there at the mobile. Got the base for it right here. It's got a cast iron base called the lollipop sign for an obvious reason. We get all kinds of stuff. I collect everything. This is a nice little sign I picked up. Mobile gargoyle. Clamps on a, U a lubester. License plates. I don't know. We got all kinds of stuff. Uh, this is kind of our workshop in there a little bit. This one is a 1931 Model A, but this is kind of an unusual body style. This is the Victoria. This car had a bad engine. It was losing oil into the cylinders uh, and actually into the radiator. It was getting oil in the radiator. But anyway, uh, we found a rebuilt engine. So we're in the process of putting that in. That's the old engine there that came out of it. And uh, we hope to have this one going this summer to be able to drive around some. Now if you look up on top up there, we have a lot of stuff up there, but it's kind of hard to get at right now. Uh, at some point we'll have all this stuff displayed and stuff and we can take future videos, but we have old bicycles, more old signs, uh, oil cans, all kinds of stuff up there. Uh, as you guys know, we have an antique shop as well, right here on the main business loop. Uh, so we get furniture and stuff too, so some of that stuff is stuck in here. Look at this. This is a dynamite. That's an original brass and iron bed. Somebody's repainted it, but that's a fantastic bed. Now this is a 1932 Model B Ford pickup. And this truck I tried to buy for about 20 years. Uh, about 50-60% of the paint is original. Much of the original paint on the top of the cab, on the hood. You know, they've done old farm welds and stuff on the fenders, but this is just a great pickup truck. You know, you just don't find these. These are usually all street routed and hacked up, and this one's just an original survivor. Uh, this one is a 1916 Overland. 
Willys Overland. They later went on to make Jeeps. This car was in a museum for probably 50 plus years. And we got that, uh, I don't know, I've had that three or four years now. We got to do some work to that one. Tires aren't the best. And right here is where my 34 three window goes when we get it back from the body shop. They're working on it, so. Okay, step four today. Uh, we've been sweating like hogs here. We got the 34 Ford in. Uh, it's a three window coupe. This is kind of our pride and joy. This was found out on the prairie here in South Dakota and we've been doing a lot of work to it, accumulating parts and uh, you can check it out there. It's a really solid original body. Not too many of these exist anymore. So well, there it is, kind of like the ZZ Top car. But that's all original, hasn't been messed with. And we've got all the parts for that. We've accumulated the front clip and a different chassis with a running engine and everything. So, you know, in a future video, we'll have this car up and running and stuff. So you can keep, look forward to that. So anyway, that shows you some of the stuff we're working on. Uh, there's more. Uh, we got stuff at the house. We got stuff in different places. And uh, another thing too, is that shelf that we started down there, that wooden shelf, we're gonna build it all the way across the building here so we can get more storage. And then we're gonna hang all the signs and bicycles and stuff across the front of it. So it's kind of got on the back burner when the wood price went up, now the wood price is dropping. So we're gonna work on that this year some, get that finished up and then we can do a lot more displaying stuff. And right now it's just getting kind of piled up with everything else going on. We get probably 10 vehicles a week uh, and it's hard to catch up with everything, but we try our best. We also have six kids. So uh, I guess that's it for now. We'll show future videos of us working on stuff and you know, repairing some of these vehicles you see here. Thank you.